Hello and welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming with Ricardo. This week's game, you've guessed it, Way of the Exploding Fist on the ZX Spectrum. Now perhaps the first home computer karate game, martial arts game that there was, Way of the Exploding Fist on the Spectrum was, I think, a fantastic effort of bringing arcade games such as Street Fighter and that sort of combat game into the home. The player takes part in a series of one-on-one -on -one karate matches, all overseen by a wise old expert who appears somewhere in the background. Yeah, you can see him on the right-hand side there. Once the player defeats an opponent, they move up to the next stage and a more difficult adversary. Fights were not won using the energy bar style found in modern fighting games, but instead the player needed to get two complete yin yangs. Any move that connected with the opponent would end the round. A loosely timed or borderline kitch or punch would obtain a half yin yang, whilst a more well executed move would obtain a full icon. Two complete icons ends the bout and progresses you to the next level. This system of scoring, known as Kumiti, is used in real life in traditional styles of karate. A half yin yang represents a wazari, and a full yin yang represents a nippon score, being a full point, a decisive finishing blow. Controls works using the joystick or directional keys and a fire key. You can achieve up to 18 different movements, including jump kick, roundhouse kick, and a variety of punches and kick high and low. There are also defensive moves including blocks and somersaults. There are 16 regular movements initiated by the eight possible joystick or key directions with buttons pressed and eight without the button pressed. Now the game does feature a variety of backgrounds against which the fighting takes place. After completing a number of progressively harder stages the player would be charged at by a ball in an often short-lived bonus style round. Though this wasn't on the ZX Spectrum version and some of the early Commodore 64 versions, but in the later versions and later ports of the game it was present. The player would then have to knock the ball out with a single hit. The bonus round mirrors the feats of Mas Oyama, a renowned karate expert who purportedly killed balls with a single strike. This game was published by Melbourne House, at least on the 48k Spectrum. And before creating the Way of the Exploding Fist, designer Greg Barnett converted The Hobbit and Sherlock, two adventure games from Beam Software, to the Commodore 64. The game was voted Game of the Year at the Golden Joysticks Awards, with Melbourne House picking up the best software house. There were two sequels, Fist 2 The Legend Continues in 1986, and The Exploding Fist Plus. Of these two, Fist 2 is not a fighting game, but a scrolling action game with one-on-one -on -one fighting. Exploding Fist Plus, on the other hand, returns to the style of the first game. It features combat with three characters, an idea followed from International Karate Plus, though in this case it is possible for players to control the three characters simultaneously. Ports of the game were available on the Commodore and the ZX Spectrum, and a few other consoles of the time. This has been a great bout of nostalgia for me, actually looking and finding this game and being able to play it. It is still quite playable as well today, with the sidekicks still creating an awful lot of damage, as well with the low kicks taking out that appointment. But be careful, those low kicks to the knee will take you out. Progressing through the game, I found it was quite easy to get to at least three or four opponents without too much practice, though I do think I will go back in and I'll continue to play this game more avidly. Anyway, it's time for me to be quiet now and let you enjoy the retro nostalgic action of Way of the Exploding Fist on the 48k Spectrum. I've been Ricardo and this has been an episode of Ricardo's Retro Gaming. Thank you very much for watching and please look out for some more videos in the series where I look at the Atari ST, the PlayStation, some PC gaming and of course Elite Dangerous. See you soon.